So we're going to start by doing the Knight Sword quest because it gives a stupid amount of smithing experience. Now, did you know there was a period of time where this quest didn't give any smithing experience because it came in the form of a lamp that you couldn't use until you were a certain level in smithing. So effectively, the method of training at low level smithing to get you up to 29 was impossible to do unless you had something like 25 smithing. You could do the quest, but you were given a lamp that you couldn't use. It was stupid. And for those who are unaware, Sarah Doman's hanging out in Falador. There he is right there, the blue smurf himself. Look at him, hanging out in his chair, being a god, doing nothing. Why do gods need to sit? I don't know. So while I was mining the blurite, I remember... I, th I think we need two blurite at one point. We need another blurite for something else at some point in the future. So I'm going to grab two while I'm here. Then we went back to Thurgo, and he made us the sword. How very nice of him. So we're going to bring the sword back to Ceramic Farz's squire. But before we bring the sword to the squire, we're going to do a Gethixian cache. Now basically what a Gethixian cache is, is an annoying mini-game where a bunch of people become cress and waste time. What's supposed to happen is that you either become cress and you turn off the automatons, or you collect memories from around the room and throw them into the pit in the middle. You gain points, as you can see I have 44 points. And based on how many points you get, you get divination experience. It's a very fast way of leveling divination. Um, and, and much easier than the tedious, boring, normal way of training it. Uh, you can do this every hour, and you can get up to 200 points a day. So I did one cash, and I got level 11 divination. Definitely worth it. Definitely gonna do it. When I remember, I usually forget. A lot of people complain about too many people becoming crests while uh, in the cash, but you see, here's the thing. Just because there's more than one crest doesn't mean there's a problem. Since, like, why would I not become crests when the other people who are crests aren't dealing with the automatons and they're just meandering around the place and I keep getting the, the freaking automatons keep smacking the memories out of my hands like I'm a, like I'm a freaking six-year-old and they're just bullies just like eh, eh, nerd I eh, screw it let's move on to the next quest druidic ritual was changed some time ago I can't quite remember when but it's different we don't need to just get a bunch of raw meat for it we actually just have to go around taverly and collect certain items uh it's actually a very easy quest I don't believe you have to do it to unlock herb lore, but it gives you, I think, enough XP to get to level 3 or 4 immediately. Ah, uh, yes, it said in 2012 this quest was replaced, uh, or it replaced the 2002 version of Druidic Ritual. So when we do this quest, we finish it by going to Sanfu, talking to him, getting a few items, and we end up with... An easy 4 quest points and 250 Herblor XP. And we also get 15 noted guams, so we have level 3, and we can use the ingredients from the quest itself to get a few more levels, so we're going to do that. What we want to do is recruitment drive next, and now this is the reason why I made my character a female. There's a part in the quest where you must fight someone who says that no man may defeat him. Well, what that means is a woman can defeat him. So let's go ahead and do Recruitment Drive. Unfortunately, I am a bit of a fool. I have one attack. That's a problem. Having one attack and having to fight somebody barehanded, even with Legacy Mode turned on, which I forgot to do the first time, is difficult. Notice my futility in fighting this guy. So I ran away. And I thought, oh, it must be because I don't have Legacy Mode on. So I turn Legacy Mode on, because Legacy, uh, when you're barehanded, does more damage than uh, Revolution does. So we throw on Legacy Mode, and we start again, doing all the other challenges that we had to do with Certification. So we come in, we're nearly there, best of luck, and we start off with a different room, so we gotta go through all of this again. And still, after taking the fox across the bridge... 
and, and, and solving the riddle, we can't hit Sir Lee at all. Our attack level is just way too low. So what do we do? How do we get our attack level up? Well, there's this one simple quest called Waterfall Quest, which gives a stupid amount of attack and strength XP. So it's probably wise for us to do that quest next. Knock it out of the way. On, uh, in the meantime, I bought some bomb vials uh, from the Herblore shop because they're very expensive for some reason. Bought a games necklace, bought a skills necklace, got some items, got the stuff I needed to do so we could do waterfall quest. Quite nice. Quite easy. Quite simple. Usually the first quest most people do. Wasn't the first quest I did because I didn't want to do it. But now I'm doing it because I got to do it. So let's go do it. We're in the infamous room. And do you notice something off? Well, I got my fire runes, I got my water runes, and my earth runes. Oh wait, no, I needed water runes, so I had to leave and come back again. Because I had died the first time, because I have 11 HP. Well, 1100 HP, I have 11 constitution, it's different apparently. I don't know why I said apparently, I knew it. I'm saying it like I didn't know. Anyway. I put all the things on the pillar, but I don't forget to use the urn on the chalice. Ch 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 the chalice. That I remembered. So we finished the quest and got a stupid amount of XP. Hooray. Got to get in another cash real quick. Got 4,300 XP and are now level 22 divination. Oh my god. Easyscape. SMH. Shaking my SMH. Let's go back to recruitment drive. So we do the riddle. Misinterprets riddle is pretty easy. There's uh, only one answer for each question. So this one is three, but I wasn't sure what it was because I didn't want to read it. So I was looking at a guide. I got it correct. And we moved on to the next room. Is the next room gonna be the combat room? It isn't. We have to take the fox across the bridge. Okay. And then we gotta go through the escape room where we gotta use the spade on the door and then make a key out of a cake tin and yada yada, you know, the standard, uh, sort of, I guess, early 2000s sort of game where it's like, find everything in the room, click around and use everything on everything. It's basically a, a graphic adventure, a graphic novel, sort of a Sierra type quest part thing. I'm just glad I don't have to do it more than once. That's foreshadowing. Oh, so this fight with Sir Lee seems to be going rather well. He's got 20 HP. He's got 10 HP. Man, he's dying. Why would we have to do this all over again? You see, we win, right? Getting the getting 30 attack and 30 strength was easy enough. We're on revolution. Everything's fine. Well, I've never had trouble with this room before. But there's a first time for everything. Notice there's three statues, three bronze statues, and four of the other statues, so that means that the bronze statue is the statue we have to pick. Here's the problem. I just knew I had to pick a bronze statue. I forgot to look at the weapons they had. And as a result, I picked the wrong damn statue the first time around, so I had to do the whole quest all over again. Watch. Oops. Yep, it was a different one. But I redid the quest, and then we finished it. Uh, this is this is the first time I've ever had trouble with that quest. And this was also the first time that I prepared and said, let's make a female character so I don't have to worry about this quest, so this quest will go by quickly. Oh, what a fool I was. Well, I was younger. Now, this is a newer quest that was added, I think, in 2019. It's called You Are It. It is a short quest involving Yuri from the Treasure Trails. So we come to McGrubber's Wood and we have to chop down a tree. Here's me trying to figure out which tree it is. It's that one. See? We got a clue scroll. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this quest was not only because it's short and easy and we get some quest points for it. Uh... But also because, at the end of the quest, we get 
a few clue scrolls, and we get a, a, uh, a casket, which could have a fortunate component in it, and items that give fortunate components on RuneScape 3, which are basically treasure trail items, like willow compos and enchanted shirts and all that stuff, sell for about a million gold. They're very valuable, and they're very easy to get. Having a million gold right now would be fantastic. So we're going to do this quest. So we solve the puzzle box. And we get garbage, basically. But yeah, it's, it's about 37,000 gold. It's not terrible for what I have right now. I mean, effectively, that's about a sixth of the gold that I have. So it's not terrible. But we also get some clue scrolls with it. So we have an easy clue scroll, and we're going to do that clue scroll. Maybe we'll get luckier. Maybe we'll get... Some third age. Who knows? Can't get third age. Uh, uh, no. 82,000 gold. Not too bad. It's mostly in the meerkat scrolls. Those are kind of valuable because with the meerkat familiar, you can basically use them to skip wizards. Uh, so you can, when you, when you have to dig, you can use the scroll instead and you, you won't summon a wizard. You just get the casket or you get the, the next step. It's pretty useful. So we're going to do Death Plateau next, because again, it's a short quest. I'm trying to get 25 quest points. I want 25 quest points so I can go talk to May in her quest caravan. May's quest caravan is a little thing south of Varrock. Every 25 quest points you get, you can go talk to her and you get a uh, this special dice. It's basically like a, like a D20. You roll it, and you get a guaranteed amount of money, which for the first 25 uh, quest points, you get 250k, which ain't bad. And one random, easy clue scroll item. Could have a fortunate component item. Ooh, fancy, right? Uh, and after you get... Uh, after you do that, I believe, four times. So you get 25, 50, 75, 100. Those are all the tier one easy clue stuff. Uh, 125, 150, 175, 200 are all medium. And then... You know, 200, or 225, 275, or whatever. 225, 250, 275, 300 is hard. 325, 350, 375, 400 is elite. And the amount of gold you get increases as well. So it's 250, 500, 750, and then a mil. So by doing quests, you can actually make, I believe, something like 11 mil just in raw gold. So if you're an Iron Man, and you need gold... Do quests. It's quite lucrative. Restless Ghost is also different from what it originally was, but it gives a nice chunk of XP, 1,125 prayer XP. And it also gives some quest points, so we do that simple. Right? Of course it is. Now here's probably one of the more classic quests in the game, Priest in Peril, originally needed to get into Canifus, or to get into Mortania, more specifically. Not just Canifus, even though Canifus is in Mortania, so it's technically correct, but it's... You don't need to do this quest to get into Mortania anymore. But I still want to do the quest. Because it opens up other quests. And I also want to do this quest because it's a quest, and I want to do the quest. Because quests are quests, and quests are quests to be done. Quest. So we enter the mausoleum, and we kill Cerberus. Quite simple. We basically just safe spot it after I realize you, it can be safe spotted, but at that point it was practically already dead anyway. Here's the problem though. It's weak to magic and I'm using magic. That means I have improved accuracy on it when using magic. Of course I'm using air spells instead of fire spells, but it's still weak to magic. We have to kill a monk of Zamorak. Now I remember monks of Zamorak being very weak. These guys aren't that weak. <laughs> so, we might not be able to do this quest just yet. Needless to say, I tried more than once, and it didn't work any other time. So I opted to do a different quest, Vampire Slayer. Now, the beauty of Vampire Slayer is that instead of, like you would in old school, uh, be granted like 5,000 attack XP in this game, you get 4,800 or 4,825 combat XP. So you get XP in any combat skill. 
magic. Get my magic level up a bit so I can use a stronger wind spell and so I have more accuracy. Here's the problem. <laughs> Again. I underestimated this vampire. I thought I'd be able to kill him quite quickly with magic spells since he's weak to magic. I was woefully incorrect, so I had to run away. So I came back with food. Here's the other problem. You lose the stake when you fight him the first time. If you run away, you won't have the stake the second time. So I fought him and won. But because I didn't have the stake, he didn't die. I had to go all the way back to Varrock, get a new stake from Dr. Harlow from the bar, that drunk bastard, and then come back to Draenor Manor and finish the job. With our newly acquired XP and a bunch of tuna fish and a slightly better set of weaponry, which is, I believe, that was an imp wand and an imp book, which has just a touch more accuracy than Caitlin's staff, we return and dispatch the monk of Zamorak. We get the key and we enter the mausoleum and replace the old key with the gold key. Now here's how you get into Mortania without completing the quest. You have to defeat this ghoul, and then you can pass through. We don't need to go this way to complete the quest, but I want to go this way so I can get the lodestone and so I could stop by the bank here instead of going back to Varrock. The reason why we want to go to, we want to, go to the bank is to get uh, all of the rune essence we need. I bought some pure essence. I bought about like 50 or something. Going to get 25 of it and bring it back to Patrodomus so we can finish the quest in one trip. And with that quest finished, I can now explain another problem that I had. I recorded uh, maybe 20 minutes worth of footage, but it was definitely more than 20 minutes worth of playing, of me doing quests such as Goblin Diplomacy uh, and other quests I've done that I can't remember. <laughs> what the names of them were, but in the footage I'll go through the quest list. I had an issue with my recording software where it created a new file with the same name as the old file and deleted the footage you already saw. So I had to undo that delete, but in the process I deleted the new stuff. Needless to say, I don't have <laughs> all the footage of the new quests I did, such as, uh, what, what else did I do? I think I did Goblin Diplomacy. I did, let's go through the list, let's see. Yeah, we already got the Restless Ghost. We got that on film, Goblin Diplomacy. Uh, we did Once Upon a Slime on camera, that's fine. We got Priest in Peril, we just did that. Hmm, seems I'm not sure. Oh, here's what happened. I did a clue scroll, and from that clue scroll, I got a fortune component. As you can see, I have 1.8 mil. First of all, that black kite shield was from May's Caravan. It was a garbage reward when I was hoping for a fortune component. But I did a different clue scroll. I did the medium clue scroll from You Are It, and I got the red headband. Sold for 1.12 mil. Very nice. So now I can use this gold to do other stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to do some AFK stuff. Going to do some mining. Get some levels that way. It'll be easier. Uh, this way I don't have to record anything. And I can just kind of chill. Uh, because I'm still trying to decide if I want to do all this stuff in post. Do uh, post narration. Or if I want to narrate... Uh, in media res while actually playing the game. Got a crash star. I was the first one to mine it, so I got a nice chunk of mining XP. That was nice. This star took like two hours to mine. I don't know why I kept doing it, but I felt like, uh, you know, it's like I've already done so much, I can't leave now. It was not worth it. That said, 
I will be doing more quests and recording them. I think I'll record Immediate Res. I don't even think that's the correct word. So thank you for watching. I'm not going to do post-narration for the next one, I don't think. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to say the same thing again. I'm not going to do post-narration for the next one. I'm just going to keep repeating myself over and over again because that's all I know how to do. Thank you for watching. Take care.